Hey there, friends. Uh, for you, those of you that like Nashville stories, here's a good one for you. Pertains to passive aggressive behavior. So I was producing this big band, Grammy award winning band, uh, 15, almost 18 years ago. And everything was going well. Uh, sessions were fine. No real issues. Um, getting everything recorded. But then when it came time to mix it, we were under a deadline. So, um, you know, we were going back and forth, back and forth. And I had Motown legend Bob Olson mixing it. And Bob has the best ears I've ever heard in the business. And it's tremendous. And so we were going back and forth, back and forth with the band. And the bass player for the band, who I was actually pretty good friends with, was... Um, telling me everything's great. It sounds great. We love what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, everybody's on board. Let's let's do this. And then I'd get a call the next day from the drummer going, no, 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 we hate everything. We hate everything. And I'm like, you hate everything? I'm like, is your buddy on board with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to him. He's on board. No, no, no. We don't, we don't like what you're doing. We want to do something 180 degrees different. And I'm like, you sure? Because we got to get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to bring our own guy in. And I'm like, um, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm still the producer and I want to meet this guy and talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'd call up the bass player and go, hey, bud, I just heard from Drummer Boy. And he said that, you know, you guys are unhappy with this and you don't like where it's going. He's like, no, 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 no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nah, he's crazy. Don't listen to him. Everything's fine. You're doing fine. Keep going, doing what you're doing. Next day, I'd get a call from Drummer Boy. No, 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 we hate this. Do this again. Anyway, you see where I'm going with this, right? This went on for weeks. Weeks. It was insane. And then so finally, we capitulated and had their guy mix it. And honest to God, it was 50% worse than what we did. It was horrible. There were mistakes in it. Bob and I had to go in and correct it on the two mix, which is really hard to do. We did it. Anyway, so that's a little background on the passive aggressive behavior that's going on in Nashville. Now, this was like 18 years ago. It's been going on for quite some time. So my advice to you is stick to your guns. Do not be bullied this way because it is a form of bullying, really. Don't do it. If you're in charge of a record, if you're producing, if it's your record, don't let a producer bully you and start playing these games with you. If you have a vision, and this particular record was my vision because it was a compilation record, which I'll talk about sometime in the future, do not let this happen to you. Stick to your vision. Don't be buffaloed. And I'll throw in one last bit. So there's a record label that I've been dealing with uh, on some jazz and free improv records. And this is part of this whole tale is, so a couple of years ago, we gave them a record with some real legends on it. And we worked our asses off to make that record be under 80 minutes because it should be a whole statement, we felt as the music musicians felt it should be one whole statement. So we got it under 80 minutes so we could be a full CD. The record label said, no, they wanted to do part volume one and volume two. We really didn't feel like that was the way to go, but we finally capitulated because they said, okay, volume two will be out a year later. It is a year later. And now they're telling us they're kicking volume two back another year. Stick to your guns. If you feel in your gut, that something should be a certain way, do it that way and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.